guys have had them for like four years. Drop it. Since 2010. So five. Okay, well I have had Lila for two years. She's a mini Australian Shepherd. Yeah, Ray is gonna go break in that cat. He's nine weeks, so I've had him for two weeks. Penny is two. Her birthday is Halloween, and then Sheldon is one, and his is April Fool's Day. Uh, usually just rope or just ball. They can't really. I can't give him stuffed animals because he rips them up within five seconds. are really tennis balls. She'll chase those and stuffed animals. She likes to run, so if I say, Lila, do you want to go outside? Yeah. So she always wants to go outside. We got them. He likes that. And he likes uh, any kind of bone. He likes to chew carpet. He likes uh, those little tug of war things. They like to go for walks. They like to play fetch. Do normal dog things, I guess. The cat fishing pole. It's both of their favorite toys. Sheldon has various teddy bears, and then he also likes to play with Penny, and Penny likes to run away from him. Come here! What? That's, that's probably Sheldon's favorite toy is Penny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, labs are known to be some of the most friendliest dogs. It's just a friend. It's fun to hang out with. Um, I guess she's important and you just kind of build a bond with them, I guess, like she's there. Every day when I go from work, no matter my mood, it's to like have something that needs you. More so, like I have to take care of her, like she needs me to survive. Joy and happiness and com camaraderie. Entertainment. <laughs> that and they're always happy. I can't really remember a dog ever being upset. Moose, please don't get beat up by a cat. I'd have to take a man here. Mainly for me, it's companionship and anxiety and depression, comfort, yeah. They're definitely mostly companionship for me. They're they're just someone that I can that I can cuddle with and, and talk to if, if you're not here or whatever. Yeah. I can talk to the cats. They are they are family and we love them. <laughs> <laughs>